Ladies and gentlemen, business owners and non-business owners, we are going to talk today about Google My Business ranking for big cities, all right? So I know a lot of you are in different areas in the country and stick around even if you're not in a big city because there's going to be a lot of valuable information that you can take away from this, all right? But let's talk about big city ranking. Um, you know, usually there's different markets. Let's talk about, you know, LA, we're talking about Miami, Chicago, New York, Houston, Portland, Seattle, right? Big, big metropolitan areas that we want to get. We're, we're located in them and we want to get our fair share of the market. Now, there's only two options that you can really use to utilize that for your local business, all right? And we're, ta we're talking about specifically the Google My Business um, optimization strategy. So basically your two options are, you take, you're in a big city, right? You're in a big city. And I'm gonna show you how this works in a second on the computer. This is really cool software that is mind blowing, right? But before we get there, I'm gonna talk about uh, a big city, right? So you're in a big city, you're located in a big metropolitan and you have a lot of competition. You know, maybe you're doing landscape, you may, maybe you're doing pizza, you know, pizza shop, pizza delivery. Uh, maybe you're doing office cleaning, whatever. You have a lot of competition. So what we wanna do is we wanna figure out a way to show up in the Maps 3 pack, right? You have the ads result, you have the Maps 3 pack, and then you have the organic results during a service type um, search on Google. So if somebody searches office cleaning Houston, right? You have ads, you have the map pack, and you have the opt organic results. You wanna show up in the map pack. So how do you do that? Um, there's two ways. So you can take your Google My Business listing that you have in Houston and you could optimize it, right? And I'm gonna show you a software that you can actually see which, where you're ranking in the maps within the geograph geographical area of Houston or any city for that matter. And then the second option that you have, um, so the first option is to optimize your Google My Business listing to show up in as many little suburbs within Houston that you possibly can or any big metropolitan area. The second option is to make a bunch of Google My Business listings in all of these little suburbs, right? So you, instead of having one big listing that you optimize for the entire city of Houston, you have maybe 10 different listings that you can get through gmbswarm.com or you know what any other GMB verification reseller where you can pinpoint a specific address, you can find a specific building within a suburb of Houston or any city, right? And you can put your business there, right? And then what's gonna happen is when you have a lot of these little, um, little Google My Business ver verified listings within Google, you're gonna actually show up organically, naturally, just because of Google's proximity um, ranking factor, meaning that if somebody in Houston, in a little suburb of Houston searches for your business, because you have a lot of these different verified listings on Google, and because the, that searcher is very close to one of your listings, your listing is going to show up because of Google's proximity um, ranking factor, right? So let's hop into the computer and I'm gonna show you exactly what I'm talking about using a program called Local Viking. These are, this is a program that my friends, um, well not my, my real friends, right? My Facebook friends uh, came up with and it's, it's a really good program that actually shows where you're located and how your Google My Business listing is ranking within the city that you're trying to, you know, yeah, that you're trying to get leads from for your local business, alrighty? Um, so let's hop into my computer and I'm gonna show you exactly what I'm talking about. One more thing before we hop into the computer. Um, I'm trying to do a viability um, test right now. So I'm trying to figure out if there is enough interest in me creating a Facebook group, a private Facebook group for a monthly membership fee, not expensive, but a good, you know, a good amount for local business owners or non-business owners, if that's your thing where I will specifically address your specific business where I'll be inside the group, you're gonna have access to other members, you can share information, la la la, but I'll be helping your specific business with your specific cases, you know, I'll be doing live streams, I'll be answering your questions, I'll be doing private videos just for you guys and looking into your businesses specifically and helping you to get into the maps pack, helping you rank, 
and addressing all of your Google My Business and other potential local business issues and lead and improving your lead generation process. So if that's something that you're interested in, please leave your comment down below and I'll look into the viability of that Facebook group and I'll see how it goes from there. Um, you know, maybe maybe that's something that can happen, maybe it won't. But if you're interested, leave a comment down below and we'll go from there. Alrighty, let's hop into my computer and let me show you the local Viking. All right, guys, inside of my computer here. So I want to show you, um, again, there's two ways to optimize your listing, right? The first one is you take one listing and you optimize it so you can see it everywhere. The second one is to make a bunch of different listings and then you're going to have more visibility and you can use them. Um, different phone numbers or you can use the same phone number for the listings and you can get a lot of lead gen calls. So we're inside the local Viking program here. Um, this is localviking.com. Go on it, you know, check it out. Pretty cool stuff. Um, you got to pay for it. It's yeah, let's do monthly, um, 29 bucks a month. You know, um, I, I do like to be as optimized uh, price wise as possible and to run my business as lean as possible. But I think that this is one of the you know, softwares that I would recommend. So let's type in Domino's Pizza in San Francisco, for example. Right. San Francisco is a big metropolitan area, big city. And we want to see how Domino's is ranking. Right. I haven't done this before. I mean, I've done this before, but I haven't done it on this example. Um, but I'm just curious as to what kind of results the Domino's is getting. So we're going to do a nine by nine grid. Um, actually, you know what? Let's do nine by nine grid. Let's do 500 meters, right? Uh, San Francisco. So we're looking at Domino's pizza, uh, keyword search. We're going to type in, uh, you know, pizza near me, something like that. Right. I'm going to press search. Let's see what happens. Uh, now this, uh, this program is using an API key directly connected to Google. So if you're going to sign up for this program, you're going to need to get a Google places API key. Um, it took me a minute to figure out. It's pretty simple, but freak, there's a train near me. Um, but yeah, pretty simple. I'm sure you guys can, oh boy, I'm sure you can figure it out. All right. So let's look at what the results are showing. As you can see, right as you can see here I mean we're looking at I gotta move this guy out of the way we're looking at not much coverage right so if somebody searches in this circle right that shows an eight uh, for pizza near me Domino's is going to be showing up in that number eight spot now that's a problem right that means Domino's does not have the best coverage uh, Let's do something different. Uh, I know a company. I have a friend that works in a company at Victorious SEO, search engine optimized company. Um, you know, let's type in an SEO consultant, right? Um, SEO consultant nine by nine grid. Let's look at the results. Let's look how well they're covering San Francisco. So there we go, right? Slightly different results. But what's interesting is that if somebody within this grid in San Francisco, within the circle of number three, searches for SEO consultant, SEO consultant within that circle, uh, Victorious SEO is going to be showing up in the third spot. What's nice about Local Viking is that you can actually press on the circle and it's going to show you the search results. So as you can see, if somebody searches within that circle, right, you got Jason McDonald, you got California SEO specialist, and you got Victorious S SEO showing up in the third spot. So pretty interesting. Now, there's different ways to, to take one Google My Business listing um, and really optimize it. Um, let me show you an example for, for, one, of my, um, for one of my companies that I'm doing um, stuff for. So let's type in Tax Shark uh, Portland. I think we have a Tax Relief, Tax Relief Portland. There we go. Cool, 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 cool. And we're going to type in Tax Relief. All right, let's do a search in Portland. Let's see. Let's see how it's showing up. Boom. As you can see, I'm ranking number one for the entirety of Portland, which is very good, right? But the reason I'm ranking number one is not because I'm so great, is because there is not a lot of competition for that specific keyword in Portland, okay? I hope that makes sense. 
the point for you is if you are living in a high competition area and you're doing a highly competitive service, you need to optimize. Um, so let's go back to Victorious SEO. And again, this applies to not tax relief. Uh, let's, do, let's, do, let's do yeah SEO. Let's just do SEO. This applies to any single any type of Google My Business listing and any type of niche that you're in. You could be doing landscaping. You could be a pizza. You could be doing you know I don't know walking a dog if that's your service. But the point is that this program will actually show you how well they're ranking. So in this case, Victorious SEO is ranking very well for the keyword SEO. They're just not ranking very well for the keyword SEO specialist or SEO consultant. So let's say you want to uh, optimize, you have one listing and you want to optimize it really, really well. Let's start, let me just give you some kind of an example of what you can do to optimize it and uh, you know I'll be making some more videos on how to really optimize one Google My Business listing for maximum maximum capacity and there's a lot of really advanced strategies but we're gonna cover those in some other videos so stick around go ahead and subscribe right now to the channel but let's look let's look at Victorious and for some reason um, as you can see they have a number 13 and a number 566 six spot kinda in the financial district so I'm, let me I'm trying to zoom in and I'm trying to see um, why that is okay so for some reason in the financial district they're getting in uh, between the Jackson Square and the financial district right over here they're getting the 13th spot that is not good um, let me do a little bit more analysis what I would do is I'll probably increase the grid size okay and do the same search takes a while because it's doing the Google API call but the financial district there's something going on there maybe there's there's a lot of competition um, it could be some other factors but for some reason Google does not want to show victorious SEO in the financial district right so what can we do about that uh, let me show you the results right and again for some reason within the financial district there's probably a lot of competition there and Victorious SEO is not showing up in the first three places. You want to show up in the first three places because that is where the visibility comes from. If you're number four through ten, not a lot of people are going to see you, unfortunately. You need to be in the first three places because that is what Google shows. And when you're in the first three places, if you can have the most reviews within the first three places, you're going to be getting all the freaking calls. All right, That's very important. So. What would I recommend Victorious to do in this case or any any Google My Business listing to get, to optimize for the financial district? You need to work on your geo specific content on the website. So, think about it this way. Uh, you need to be relevant to Google for Google to show you in that specific area. So, what Victorious SEO should probably do is make a make an article on their website talking about things to do in the financial district within San Francisco, right? And then they want to link back, right? They want to link back. They have a, they want to have a link back to their Google My Business. Um, and then what's going to happen is that Google is going to pick up the relevancy between um, that things to do in the financial district and, you know, and uh, Victorious SEO, meaning that, Google is going to look at their website and they're going to see that there's going to be a page on the website that's just that's just talking about things to do in the financial district within San Francisco. And Google is going to see the relevancy and they're going to connect it to the Google My Business listing and that juice what we what SEO is called the juice is going to flow from that page on their website talking about things to do in the financial district is going to flow to the Google My Business listing because there's going to be a link there, right? And there's some other stuff that you can do, but this is one of the one of the most powerful strategies that you can use to really optimize a, a Google My Business, one Google My Business listing that um, you know that again is is not optimized for a specific part within a big metropolitan area. The second option is you can have a lot of Google My Business listings, all right? The way you do that is you order them gmbswarm.com. There's vendors out there like GMB Swarm, um, same guys that pretty much make make the local Viking software, all right? 
But the point is, you order a, a pack, and what happens is you speci specify in which building you want your Google My Business listing to be, and you can, let's say you order a 10-pack for 500 bucks, right? You order a 10-pack, and you have all of these different Google My Business listings, right? Now, you don't have to really optimize them because the people who are closest to them are going to be seeing them, right? Does that make sense? So you, you kind of have that option for either one or you do a lot. And the people that are closest to the ones that you do a lot for, they're going to be seeing the ones. Now, what I still recommend, even if you order, let's say, a 10-pack and put your Google My Business listing all over the city, I'd recommend getting at least some reviews for the Google My um, for the Google My Business listing, just so you have some kind of relevancy there, so people trust you. Because a a Google My Business listing with no reviews is very hard. Um, it's just it's just tough. Like people, you know, people are not sold before they call you. When you have reviews, especially positive ones, people actually you're sold. Guys, that is it. Thank you so much for watching. Now, what I want to recommend you do is leave any comments down below. Again, let me know if you're if you would be interested in a program where I specifically look in your business, I help you out. I can, you know, structure some things for you. I can answer your questions, la 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 la, about your local business, about your website, about your Google My Business listing. Let me know down in the comments below. I'm truly, I'm really trying to figure out if that's some that's a viable option for you guys. All right. Other than that, I hope you learned something. You know, I hope I gave you the two ways to optimize or the two ways to dominate a big metropolitan area or any city for that matter. Right? These strategies they work for any cities. Um, other than that. Yeah, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Subscribe to the video. Bye-bye.